welcome back to potions class. My name is Lucia and today I have another Harry Potter potion for you. Amortentia is the name and I'm pretty sure you guys already know what this is. It is the strongest love potion in the world, right in time for Valentine's Day. The only details I could find on this potion is the fact that it's pink and it has a mother of pearl sheen to it. Apparently, it smells different to each person depending on what they are attracted to. If it were me, I think I would like the smell of Earl Grey, um, eucalyptus, and maybe the smell of the summer breeze or something like that. What do you think you would smell? Tell me down in the comments below because I'm very curious. So if you want to show someone that you like them in a very non-subtle way, then why don't you brew them a love potion? If they're willing to drink it, then congrats. Happy Valentine's Day. And if they choose not to drink it, then you get to enjoy it because self-love is important too. So without further ado, let's craft some Mortentia Love Potion. So these are the ingredients for today's potion. You will need 3 ounces of gin, 1 ounce of fireball, 2 ounces of grenadine, 1 ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of rose water, and a quarter teaspoon of silver edible pearl dust. All right, so first, grab a cocktail shaker. Add in your gin. Fireball whiskey. Grenadine. Lemon juice. Rose water. And silver pearl dust. Add in some ice and shake until cold. Strain it into your potion bottle. And ta-da! A mortentia is complete. Taste test time. All right, so here we have our love potion. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. To be honest, this is a really large potion to drink. Um, it's basically the size of a full-size perfume. I wonder if anyone actually made a perfume version of this because that would be really cool. I think I would definitely buy that. But anyway, let's see how this tastes. All right, cheers. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a floral cinnamon heart, like a rosy cinnamon heart. Um, it's not a very strong cinnamon flavor, but you're definitely gonna have that hit of uh, fireball whiskey in there. But yeah, it has a nice amount of floral flavors in it, which I like. And you do get a hint of the orange blossom water from my uh, homemade grenadine as well. But yeah, I can definitely say that this is a very Valentine's Day flavor. I also wanted to make a somewhat chocolate version. Like I was thinking maybe a strawberry chocolate or a rose chocolate, but I didn't have anything to make it chocolate flavor. So, you know, next best thing I guess is cinnamon hearts. But yeah, I wasn't originally going to use cinnamon whiskey, but I felt like it fit the vibe because it kind of gave, you know, that spicy passion in love kind of idea, you know? And the pearl dust is a must because it's supposed to be mesmerizing, right? You're trying to mesmerize someone. So that you cannot go without in this potion. It is a bit on the sweeter side though, so feel free to add a bit more ice to it. Um, or you can use a little less grenadine. It will be a little 
lighter in color as well. But yeah, I feel like this would be a great hit for any Valentine celebrations. Even if you can't find a heart-shaped bottle, you can definitely put them in even little vials or in a glass. It would still look very nice. But uh, yeah, good luck wooing the person of your dreams. Well, that's the end of today's class. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave it down in the comments below and like and subscribe for some more awesome potions. Until next time, class is dismissed. Stay magical!